Hello and welcome back to a new video on my channel. In this video I would like to compare two different binoculars and I'd like to talk about using these different binoculars for astronomy. So in this video I would like to compare these 10 by 50 binoculars and the bigger 20 by 80 binoculars. So you can see when talking about the size there's a big difference between these different binoculars. So if you're planning to buy one of these binoculars for astronomy, but still you're not sure which of these binoculars is more suitable for you, or which of these binoculars is better for astronomy, then this video will be really, really helpful to you. So as you can see, I've listed out different features that are important when planning to buy binoculars for astronomy. So I would like to compare these binoculars step by step, and in the end I would like to give you my final opinion about which of these binoculars I would recommend for astronomy. So if you're interested in that, definitely make sure to check out this video. But before I start, I would like to mention that this video is not sponsored and not being paid for it. All products on this video were purchased by myself and the opinions about these products are my own. But now I would like to start by comparing these different binoculars. And when looking for these binoculars, you will quickly realize that there are two different numbers. So in this case, for example, 20 and 80. And these numbers are very important when planning to buy uh, binoculars for astronomy. The very first number stands for the magnification of these binoculars. The magnification of binoculars in astronomy is quite important. In this case, the 10 by 50 binoculars do have a magnification of 10 times and the 20 by 80 binoculars do have a magnification of 20 times. I've used both binoculars for observing objects in night sky and both binoculars do have um, advantages here and there, that's for sure. For me personally, a magnification of 20 times is better for astronomy, but that definitely depends on you, because when using the 20 by 80 binoculars, your field of view will be smaller and finding objects will be more difficult for you. But for sure, when using the 20 by 80 binoculars, you will have a higher magnification, which will be helpful when observing smaller objects, such as the moon or deep scan objects, for example. So I have observed the moon, for example, through both binoculars, and when using the 20 by 80 binoculars, you will see way more structures on the moon. So using the 20 by 80 binoculars with 20 times of magnification is definitely quite helpful for astronomy. The next number stands for the aperture. So in this case, the 10 by 50 binoculars do have an aperture of 50 millimeters, and the 20 by 80 binoculars do have an aperture of 80 millimeters. The aperture is a very important aspect when planning to buy these binoculars. So definitely make sure to check out this number when planning to buy these binoculars. The aperture actually means the diameter of the optical component of your binoculars. So in this case I do have the 20 by 80 binoculars and they do have an aperture of 80 millimeters, which actually means that um, the diameter of the optical component, so of the built-in classes, is 80 millimeters. So these classes do have a diameter of 80 millimeters. So the aperture is very important because in astronomy we are observing objects in night sky and these objects are usually very dark. For sure the moon is quite bright and planets are very bright, but um, those deep sky objects are very dark and therefore the um, aperture is very important because when your binoculars do have a bigger aperture then the light gathering power of these binoculars is better and therefore um, you're collecting more light of these objects which makes it easier for you to observe these very dark objects. So in this case there's a big difference between 50 and 80 millimeters. So in this case I would rather go for the 20 by 80 binoculars because they do have a higher magnification so you can even observe the moons of Jupiter for example which is quite amazing and on the other side, the higher aperture is very helpful for observing these deep scale objects. So I have, for example, observed the Orion Nebula with these binoculars, and we're looking through the 20 by 80 binoculars, you can see way more structures in the Orion Nebula, for example. So um, there's definitely a big, big difference when using these two binoculars for astronomy. The next aspect is the field of view. When using the 20 by 80 binoculars, for sure the field of view will be a bit smaller because the magnification is higher, which makes finding these objects in the night sky and more difficult, so it's not that difficult to find objects in the night sky compared to a telescope, but still there's a difference between these um, 10 by 50 and 20 by 80 binoculars when it comes to um, observing on these objects and finding these objects in the end for sure. But the next aspect is how heavy these binoculars are, and there's definitely a big difference. So the 20 by 80 binoculars are quite heavy, so around 2 kilograms, so they are very very heavy compared to the 10 by 50 binoculars. So that's definitely something you have to think about. So when talking about the size, of these two binoculars. The 10 by 50 binoculars are quite portable compared to the 20 by 80 binoculars, but the 20 by 80 binoculars, they are very large and not that portable. Therefore, when using the um, 20 by 80 binoculars, I would definitely recommend to use a tripod. When using 10 by 50 binoculars, 
you will not need a tripod. So they are not that heavy, so I'm observing with the 10x50 binoculars without a tripod, but when using the 20x80 binoculars, they are so heavy that you will move all the time, and therefore you will not get a clear view of the night sky. Therefore, when planning to buy the 20x80 binoculars, I would definitely recommend to buy uh, a tripod for these binoculars, because then it's easier for you to observe these objects. For sure, there's a difference when talking about the price. Um, the 10x50 binoculars, they are quite affordable. So they are not that expensive. The 20 by 80 binoculars are usually more expensive, but um, there are definitely differences between these different binoculars. But in general, the 20 by 80 binoculars are definitely way more expensive compared to the 10 by 50 binoculars. So in this case, it's quite difficult to say which of these binoculars is better for astronomy. Because the 10 by 50 binoculars, they are way more portable compared to the 20 by 80 binoculars. But on the other side, the aperture is smaller, which is not that good, especially when observing those deep scale objects. On the other side, the 20 by 80 binoculars, they are not portable, they are very heavy and they need to use a tripod, at least this is what I recommend, but they do have a larger aperture, which is very important in astronomy. I personally would choose the 20 by 80 binoculars, that's for sure, because for me personally, the higher aperture and the higher magnification is very, very helpful. So I've used both binoculars for observing objects in the night sky, and for me personally, observing the objects with the 20 by 80 binoculars was definitely better. So there were more structures visible in these objects, and when observing planets, for example, so Jupiter, for example, you can even observe the moons of Jupiter. And especially when observing the moon through these two binoculars, you will see more structures when using these 20 by 80 binoculars. I have already made a video about these 20 by 80 binoculars, and I have linked the video right there. So if you're interested in that, definitely make sure to check out this video. In this case, I will choose the 20 by 80 binoculars. This video is not sponsored and not being paid for it, and all products shown in this video were purchased by myself, and the opinions about these products are my own. As I have already mentioned in the beginning of this video, I would like to introduce two objects to you that you can easily observe with these two binoculars in the night sky. So the one object that is very interesting is the Pleiades star cluster. So right now in the winter, it's a great object to observe because there are multiple structures visible in that object, and when using the 20 by 80 binoculars, you will see a bit of the nebula surrounding the stars right there. Another object that is amazing when looking through binoculars is the Andromeda galaxy. It is a very, very bright galaxy, so right now you can see a few images I've captured of the Andromeda galaxy. So you will not see the Andromeda galaxy through binoculars like this, but definitely you can see a few structures in the spiral arms when observing the Andromeda galaxy through binoculars. If you have any more questions about using these binoculars for astronomy, feel free to ask me down below in the comments. And if this guide in this video was helpful to you, I would really, really appreciate a like and a subscription. Otherwise, thank you so, so much for watching, and until next time, clear skies, Felix.